internal combustion is the great source of power which has made possible the transportation system we have today. And here are the boys who provide the power that drives your car. Our old friends, air, fuel, and... Hey, Sparky, come on out. Ignition. of an engine is that? I don't know. <laughs> you got me. That's a big diesel engine, boys. A what? A diesel engine. It's an internal combustion engine, but it works differently than a gasoline engine. Can we make it go? Of course you can make it go. In fact, it won't go without you. Why don't you look it over? Yes, air, fuel, and ignition cooperate to give the diesel its power. But they get together in somewhat different ways than in an automobile. No carburetor? Yeah. No carburetor. No battery. No coil. No spark plugs. <laughs> what an engine. Yes, that's right, boys. No carburetor. No coil or wiring. No spark plugs. But in a diesel engine, you get along without them and we're going to find out why and how. Remember in the gasoline engine, air and fuel are combined in the carburetor to form an explosive mixture. Fuel enters the carburetor at the flow chamber. Air is sucked in through an air cleaner, then pulled past a tiny opening called the fuel jet, which mixes fuel in the proper proportion of air. This explosive mist is fed into the cylinder on the intake stroke of the piston, then compressed on the compression stroke. <laughs> Meanwhile, our third member of the internal combustion trio is waiting in the ignition system in the form of electric energy. At the proper time, the distributor sends him on his way to the cylinder where the explosive mixture has been compressed and bam, the explosion that provides the power stroke. Then the piston comes up on the exhaust stroke to push the burned gases out of the cylinder. And so we have the four-stroke power cycle of the gasoline engine which drives your car. Intake, compression, Power, exhaust. The basic parts of a diesel engine are the same as those of a gasoline engine. There are cylinders, pistons, connecting rods, and a crankshaft. The valve mechanism is essentially the same as in a gasoline engine. There is also a cooling system to get rid of the heat caused by combustion. This is a three-cylinder inline engine, but various arrangements of the cylinders are practical. D-type, pancake, and so on. In a diesel engine, there is no carburetor to mix air and fuel outside the cylinder, and no electrical system to provide ignition in the form of high voltage electricity. But ignition doesn't have to be electrical. Ignition is simply heat. Heat enough to set fire to something. If you squeeze any substance hard enough, compress it, it gets hot. Even our friend air can be compressed to a very high temperature. High enough to ignite fuel if it is present. Lucky thing fuel wasn't along or there would have been an explosion. In this principle of compression ignition lies the major difference between gasoline and diesel engines. A 
compression ratio of about 8 to 1 is common in automobile engines day. On the compression stroke, the piston squeezes the air-fuel mixture in the chamber to one-eighth of its former volume. The diesel is a higher compression engine. At the top of a diesel compression stroke, the air in the cylinder may be squeezed to as little as one-twentieth of the former volume. And when you squeeze air that hard, it gets hot. 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Because of higher compression, and therefore higher temperatures in the cylinders, diesel engines can use fuels which are less volatile than gasoline. Higher compression and the resulting higher pressures require a diesel engine to be made stronger than a gasoline engine. And because of the higher compression, Fuel and air cannot mix outside the cylinder in a carburetor. The mixture would start burning too soon. The air has to be compressed alone, and the fuel put into the cylinder just when we want it to start burning. In place of the carburetor, we have a fuel injection system to get the fuel into the combustion chamber. Because we don't need a spark plug, we can put the fuel nozzle in its place at the top of the cylinder connected to a high pressure pump to force in the fuel. Now we have all the basic parts necessary for a diesel engine. To make it go, we need only air, fuel, and ignition. And here comes the first one, air. Oops, the valve closes and there's no way out. Notice that at the end of diesel's intake stroke, the cylinder is filled with air, all air, not an air-fuel mixture. <laughs>